like big, good, strong hands, don't they? I always thought that's what they were. Once upon a time, in a beautiful wood, there lived a rabbit named Peter with a blue jacket Sorry! and no pants. My little friend. The little man with his racing snail, the night hawk, even the stupid bat. I couldn't hold on to him. You Were Never Really Here is the fun and wacky love story for a new generation. Joe is at the top of his game in the bashing dudes with hammers racket, but unlike his victims, he can't catch a break, romantically. After a meeting with his uncle, Buckley, he decides he is done waiting for a pretty lady to fall into his lap. He's going to go out and bash some skulls and drag one to it. And there he finds... Oh no. Oh no. Not again. A preteen girl named Nina. With a wacky fashion sense. The two go to a hotel where police immediately arrest Joe. and return Nina home to her family. Joe is currently down in Ossining for 5 to 15. You Were Never Really Here is one of the standout films of the last decade, in my opinion. Joe is scarred in more ways than one. A military and law enforcement veteran who finds and acquires victims of sexual exploitation by any means. Sounds a little like a Liam Neeson picture, eh? The DeGloreans are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. The title alludes that Joe is not really here, not in the he doesn't really exist sense, other than the fact that this is a work of fiction. No, he isn't here because he is trapped in the past, haunted by the scars of his life. It's a big theme as even Nina can't help but disassociate herself from her despicable environment. Would you look at that? It's time for the best. Was it you or the other guy? What are you doing? <clears throat> Much like three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, we have seen this scene hundreds of times. The angry man grilling a dying protagonist. Like three billboards, this interrogation won't go according to script. So you killed Vado? They killed Vado, is that what it is? Trust me, just wait. After he spills his proverbial beans, Joe thinks for a second and lies beside the dying man. This alone would be a subversion of note, but what happens next is a touching moment of humanity within the violence and deviancy. Joe was a soldier. He knows this guy is just a soldier and he holds his hand as the two share this man's last moments. But unfortunately, that isn't where we end this story. No, the most sympathetic movie character who bashes people with hammers isn't that golden boy of celluloid that once was foretold. I can look past the violence, I can look past the mental illness, and I can even look past the casual Asian racism. What cannot be forgiven 
is this brute's lack of patience. Watch. Uh, I've been waiting for you Relax, man. Relax. Chill the fuck out. Don't make me wait! Oh, you had to wait 20 minutes? Boo hoo, you fucking prick. Shit happens. One out of ten. I did an oopsie. I'm Simon Kuch Belmondo, and this is RTU Cucumber News. Ha 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 